Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm already having a bad fucking day here. This is not what it looks like. What it looks like is you shot an unarmed guy in the back. Or is that not what I saw? Okay, now don't do anything stupid, because I'll shoot a lot quicker than you did. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Look, I get it. 
You're being cautious. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Clementine. Cool name. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. You shot the other guy. Well, you didn't tie me up and stick me in a truck. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So... Who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice. Having a partner? It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Get to the gate!
effing damn it, Francine. One of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind. If you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around, and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. been in a place like this since, well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. Well, what should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Nah, they just wanted to set an example. I was the poor bastard they used to do it on. All I know is what I read in the papers. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Though all it takes is one good hand. He's bluffing. 
He's got bullshit written all over him. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip him. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Oh, calm down, both of you. Thanks for the advice, hon. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. She doesn't need a bodyguard. She could take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... Ch what the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar.